invite my friends to the show that never ends and glad you could attend. Come inside the tent today as on the chopping block is the independent horror film called Sick, which I uh, had the very great pleasure of being able to uh, watch and bring to you today. Now, Sick is a story that tells us it's set two years after a zombie outbreak, okay? And the remaining people of the world we just see are trying to survive. We follow Lee uh, Rosetta, who, uh, you know, she's a main scientist, very wise expert, and she was tasked by the government to try to find a cure for this infection. Well, two years later, and after many failed attempts, she just needs to get out of this secret government facility and go back home, which she does. And along the way, she crossed paths with two other survivors, and the three of them hole up in her house, her family house, as the zombies, who are more active at night, come knocking at their door trying to break in, and we see how that builds up tension amongst them, and we see the conflicts arise between each other as they try to survive the night. Oh, wow. Let me tell you about Sick. Sick is a dark, unpredictable exploration in humanity, and it is better than what anything Schlollywood has offered up in the uh, genre of horror in a while, okay? Uh, I, I loved this film. It, def it it had hints of Romero in here. Not hints, it, it really uh, had a lot of Romero influence in it. You, you could tell because, uh, well, most zombie films aren't about the zombies. They're about the people, like we've seen in uh, Dead Weight, where we saw barely any zombies. Yeah, there's a fan fantastic film. This also was a fantastic film. It had a lot of atmosphere, and as I said, very unpredictable. Just when you thought the script was going to go one way, they definitely uh, throw you for a loop, which I really liked. It kept you on your heels, and you, you weren't quite sure who you were going to see survive or not survive next, and I loved that unpredictability of it. And the story in general moved along nicely. It had some meat to it. They gave a nice little twist to your standard in fact story. Uh, the characters uh, you, you enjoy, okay? They aren't just stereotypical uh, cookie-cutter characters. Most of them aren't. Uh, Christina Ann Asito, oh, I loved her performance in this. Definitely se seemed like a real person, like this scientist who's stuck in this really crappy situation, and, and you know, you're not quite sure what she's feeling, and she definitely just, just was fantastic in this, and I loved her uh, seeing her on the screen and all the scenes she was in. Uh, you know, you have uh, Richard Roy Sutton in here who plays Seth. Loved his performance as well as a guy, kind of good guy. You're not quite sure about him. Uh, loved him. And in fact, ladies, you'll like it because uh, you get to see a little male tush in there as well. Um, and you got Robert Nolan in here who we actually saw in Familiar. Loved him in Familiar. Thought he was fantastic in this as well. The production value of this film was fantastic for being a low-budget film. Uh, I loved the look of it. The, the audio was great. You know, the shots were fantastic. There was a little bit of creative editing during a couple of the zombie attacks, which uh, kind of took me aback a little bit, kind of took me a little bit away from the film, but did not ruin the overall experience at all of what was going on. And I did kind of like it in the fact that you were able to see what was going on. On at least uh, during that uh, that bit of creative editing. So, uh, you know, that was about the only part that kind of got me. What I really loved, too, about this script was just when you get kind of a huh moment, it gets, you know, don't worry. Put your trust in this director, Ryan M. Andrews, because he's like, just stick with me all the way, folks, and it will all make sense. And let me tell you, folks, stick with me, and I hope to bring you even you know, some other great independent films like Sick. Folks, if you're a fan of independent horror, if you're a fan of really well done horror that's got atmosphere that it's you know that has deep characters better than what you see on the big huge screen with the huge budgets you definitely want to check out sick zombie fans you need to put this on your list of films to watch uh right up there with dead weight okay i really enjoyed this film and i think you will too catch it at a festival uh right now they're doing the festival scene and uh you can get their updates on their facebook page i'll put the link down below Folks, independent horror, as I've been saying, is where it's at. Cinema, Renaissance, and Full Effect Sick is definitely one of those films. It's a prime example of what you can do when you have people who care about the film that they're making, as well as just want to make a really good horror film. And that's what you get with the movie Sick Survive the Night. 
And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Remember, uh, you want to catch me, I'm a regular now on Astro Radio Z Podcast. And this past week, I also was on the Dixon Cider Show. Uh, the last week's episode, actually, which was posted, uh, I'm on that one as well. So check that out. Or that was earlier this week. I'll put the link down below as well. I I'm, I'm enjoying this. I've got more great stuff to bring to you folks. And until next time, keep that together.